again. Today we're going to make something rather traditional and it's called jagung kue or sweet corn kue. As you know, kue is like a cake for us Malaysian and sweet corn is called jagung. This jagung kue is been a very long traditional kue that we make. Sweet corn is one of my favorite carbohydrates uh, vegetable. So it reminds me of my childhood. Hi, I'm Loretta Lee, Nonya Recipe. Nonya Recipe is a fine place for fabulous food and I share with you my food journey. So don't forget to click like and hit the subscribe button so that you'll be informed of all the videos that I upload. And don't forget to share if you find my video useful. So now let's go and see how to make this traditional, my childhood memory, jagung kui. So here is the end result. I've got one here has got a little, little star and a little flower. Yes. And I'm serving it in a posh way in a cocktail glass. Martini. Martini glass. I'm, I'm serving it with in a martini glass. To make the jagung pudding, we use uh, 50 grams of uh, hun kui powder, which is pea powder. And we mix it with the uh, coconut milk. We add in the sugar and the salt and we add in all the coconut milk. We add in 2 teaspoons of vanilla essence. I'm not going to use pandan this time for a change. More of the milk and we mix until everything is mixed up properly. We we'll pass through a sieve so that there's no lump. I'm trying to prettify my presentation. Another one that's star shaped. Mmm, nice. And I'll have four and see how it goes. I'm not sure whether this will work. La 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 la. La 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 la. So we'll cook this over a slow fire until it thickens. Stirring all the time. It's beginning to thicken now. So just make sure that the fire is not too high that it burns. So now it is bubbling as you can see. And we're going to add in the uh, sweet corn. Okay, here's the sweet corn. Adding in a few drops of yellow colouring to make it look nicer. So, I think it is now ready. We'll switch off the stove. what we normally make our pudding in. We make it in little squares and then we cut it and we serve it. Which I think is not very interesting. I'll try and prettify this as well. So now I'm going to try the plain one. I've made it not so hard. Mm. Full of coconut milk. A bit sweet. And with a salty taste, which I like, like salted caramel, like salted caramel, <laughs> like salted caramel, not caramel. <laughs> Here is another one. I've got a heart, so you can make this for your mother or somebody's birthday. You know, it's so meaningful. And remember, this is all vegan. Don't go breaking my heart. I won't go breaking your heart. Da -da -da. Don't go breaking my heart. I won't go breaking your heart. Da da da. What is this? <laughs> okay, I'll stop that, yeah? Pieces, your heart in pieces. Yeah, okay. Now. Here is another fancy one. Um, I've used a big star, but I think the star can be smaller. But it does look pretty, doesn't it? So for our Malaysian common pudding, we can prettify it. Ah. There you go. I hope you enjoy watching me prettifying our local Malaysian kueh and try to bring it a little level higher than the boring things that we have. Of course, our kueh are very tasty and so let's now make it pretty. So until the next time, I'm Loretta Lee, Nonya Recipe. Nonya Recipe is a fine place for fabulous food and I share with you my food journey. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button 
and also like so that you'll be informed of all the videos that I upload and don't forget to share if you find my videos interesting. So until the next time, see you then. Bye, bye, take care. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Is it good?